Hi, my name is Talaya, your favorite cyber sheep VTuber, and something's a bit different about me. I look a bit different. I'm not a sheep. Now let me explain to you why. So when I was scrolling around TikTok, I was seeing a lot of cute VTubers, and it looked very similar to each other. A lot of people look very similar to each other when it came to the art style, but the looks were absolutely different. So I was very curious, and I see someone talk about Avi. Apparently, this is a custom app. It allows for you to make your own model with all the little features. It's like a pit crew. It's like a pit crew for VTubing. And obviously, this model has limitations with its movement. But in general, it is a VTuber model that works very well, and it doesn't have any microtransactions inside of the app. So my issue when it comes to a lot of different VTuber custom model apps where they're either built into their software where you can only stream on their software, they don't have much OBS integration, or they have a lot of customizations, but they want microtransactions. Like they make you pay for coins, you have to roll for outfits, blah, 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 there's a system to it. But with this app, everything is for free and it's for both genders and you can even customize the colors of your model. You can customize the skin tone, the hair color, the outfit colors, you can do whatever you want with them. And I think that's amazing. I think this is an amazing tool for people who are trying to get into VTubing, especially for people who don't have OBS, who don't have a computer. Now I'm going to spell a bit about my history with VTubing. When I first got into VTubing, I didn't have a computer either, and I really adored a lot of the creators at the time who had models of their own who were able to stream live on Twitch and so on and so forth. Now with more accessibility with online platforms with like mobile uh, interfaces such as YouTube Shorts, TikTok Live, it is very nice to see an app that is very open to others to join in, create a model, and then she can screen share, you might have some choppy audio quality, but you can screen share a persona for yourself and stream live on those short form platforms, even if you don't have a computer of your own to, to start off with. This is a great way to start off your branding, to create a name for yourself, and as you gain more um, experience and possibly money, oh, my model froze. You will be able to be ready when you have an OBS, a computer, a setup, and you know, properly stream with this model or maybe any future VTuber models that you find when you have Live 2D, VTube Studio, and so much more once you get a computer. So in this video, I just wanted to show you what the app looks like, and I'm going to show you how to set it up on OBS due to the main creators and also the, the setting up instructions being only in Japanese. And I know that might be hard for people. I Google translated it, so it makes it easier once you Google translate it, but I know a lot of people like myself are bad at technology. So it might be hard to figure it out uh, at the jump. Cause like I, I'm used to using OBS. I'm used to using VTube studios, using custom models, doing all this type of stuff. So that's how I figure it out. But I know someone who's probably new to video, VTubing, pardon me. But I know someone who's new to VTubing probably won't figure this out very well or it might take some time. So hopefully a video like mine or anyone else's tutorial out there will be of use to you. I am mostly someone who uses a Windows computer, so I won't know how to use it for Apple products, but hopefully this is the same like scenario to set it up. If not, um, you're gonna have to check someone else out. I have no computer Apple products and I'm so sorry for your loss. You wasted your money. Respectfully though, it's okay. So let's get into it. Well, when this tutorial starts up, they're gonna send you to OBS. If you have Windows, Mac, Linux, download them the way that um, it is requested. So for me, I use Windows, I'm downloading it like this. And usually you would open it and be able to have a naked OBS. Now, since my OBS isn't naked, there's a lot of stuff inside of it that you will not have. I'm sorry, I cannot help you set up OBS in the general format. Usually a lot of people have a tutorial set up for that, but usually you'll just need an audio capture and you'll be needing, you know, a Windows or game capture for whatever you'll be streaming for today. The capture system used for this model though is completely different. They just generally want you to download OBS because it has the main software used for streamers. And I just want to showcase that to you as well. So you know what the website looks like, even though they'll, they, they'll give you a link, they give you a link. After you set up OBS and so on, and I will also drop a video down below on how you set up OBS for beginners, you will be using Distro AV 6.0.0. If any updates occur after my video about this update, just always check back at their um, instructions on the app. I will also post a little picture of what their little instruction page looks like, just in case they update it in any type of way for you to download the new version. But for this uh, tutorial, just use the general version, scroll all the way down to pass that stuff too. I use Windows. So usually the installer zip file is the easiest way to go. So download this one and you'll see my dirty files. I'm so sorry, but you'll click on this 
Ooh, I don't know if that'll show up, but it will be like, yes, download, you continue downloading. You probably did not see my little uh, setup, but usually you'll just hit that. They'll ask you a question, you press yes, you'll just continue on, press yes, yes, yes. And if there's any like blockage, you just say verify, you like hit a check mark, continue, 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 and just let them download. So now what this system is, it is an automatic plugin type downloader for your OBS. And when you open your OBS, you will be able to have the the pro I forgot the name program oh my god <laughs> you have the program inside of your OBS but we're not gonna go mess with it until after we download the second feature also when it comes to Windows programs I do not put in anything in OBS manually simply because I'm dumb and there is tutorials on how to do it in manually but you'll usually get the um, universal plugin to put it in manually and you will get a zip file. The zip file will be like this. You unzip it, you, you extract the items. It'll be this. And it'll be OBS, uh, OBS plugin, so on and so forth. These are the files you'll use to manually plug it into OBS just in case the automatic feature didn't work for you. Now for the secondary link, it's going to provide you with the NDI plugin. You will just press it. It'll be like, hey, are you sure you want this on your, on your computer? You press yes, you continue, next, next, next. And it should be good and download that program. The website itself, does provide you with just a straight link and it will instantly download on your computer. But because this is hard to read uh, and it's hard to find that link, I did save it into my Discord server and I have it right here. And I will also be putting it down in the description below so you guys can easily download. Same with the previous link so you guys can instantly get to those two links and instantly download those two programs. Once you're done with all of that, you will have to reset your PC for everything to work out just fine. Once you're done with that, you will open your OBS. And when you open your OBS, hold on, let me let me get to my OBS. I know you see the empty void that is my OBS, but don't worry about that. But once you open your OBS, you will have another little Windows capture. It's gonna be called like, uh, I know what it's called. There it goes, NDI source, the NDI source. Name it whatever, I'm gonna call it VTuber, just to make it easier for myself to, to remember it. Then, okay, so this is gonna be me showcasing what it looks like on my phone. So on my phone, when you have the VTuber character pop up, make sure it's on a green screen so it can easily have no background. Like you don't have a background, you know, like I'm clear, I don't have anything behind me on the model. So once you have no background, there's gonna be a little camera button on the left side. Click the camera button, they're gonna be like, hey, make sure you know how to set up on OBS. You put it up on OBS, you did it, you're great. Oh my God, tell them to say, okay, goodbye, goodbye. Stop talking to me. You, you, once you're done yelling at them to stop yelling at you, um, you have a little little live button it, it shows red it shows red because everything's live it's working it's great so like before on obs the ndi source you go into the properties of it once you see this this is what your phone is this is your phone so you click it so it can showcase your model your model will be showcased now just in case you have the skippy lag because I do as well. I, I'm probably skipping right now because there's two versions of me. It's probably not handling it. Um, mess with the bandwidth, mess with the source timing. You can mess with these. Actually, don't mess with these. I, I don't have any of these on, I don't believe. Let me just show you my setup just because this is taking up CPU usage. This is gonna be a bit, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit much for your computer. So usually you're gonna have to mess with it customly on what works for your computer. Oh my God, I, I went back to normal. So this is my setup, okay? I just wanna showcase this to you guys because I know once you get the model set up, it might look a bit wonky. You might look, you might skip a little, so it might not look the best at that current time. But as long as you fix it up for yourself, it should work out, it should be fine. Look, I'm on my computer, I look pretty, I'm cute. And even when you change up your model and stuff like that, as long as you do it before you stream, you shouldn't be lagging. You can wear whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You'll look cute, you'll look great, and you'll go live on stream. So this is generally how you'll set up the model. And if any problems occur, just comment down below, or you can check out their social medias, Abby social medias, because I'm pretty sure they'll also put up updates. They have both girl and boy model updates, like mostly the boy stuff is lacking. So I know they're gonna add more boy customization to the model soon. And 
um it's a pretty easy setup honestly this the only difficult part is a language barrier if you have any other questions or you have any other tips and tricks to share with anyone i would love to see it in the comments below this is very great to see for the vtuber community having more people to join the space having more young people have accessibility to join in and create an identity for themselves i love seeing you guys on my tiktok feed and i would love to see more of you guys go live i hope to see you in the future and thank you for watching the tutorial I almost forgot before I end the tutorial, I will say the only thing that I will ever suggest to anyone to purchase when it comes to VTube Studio, Avi, or any VTubing presen presenting app is to get a phone fan. This uh, this app and a lot of other apps, they are very heavy on your phone, your phone gets hot, and if you're using it for long term use, you sh oh my god I can't talk, if you're using it for long term, -term use, it will uh, damage your phone having it your battery be cooking itself like this. So I got my phone fan off Amazon. I suggest it for long term streams. Get a phone fan. It's very cheap. If your parents, if you, if you need parents to buy it for you, buy it. Buy it. It's for safety. So please, if you're gonna use this for long term streaming use, literally ten minutes or above, get a phone fan because it is going to make your phone very very hot. Bye.